A virus suddenly spreads like wildfire on Earth one day in the future. Infected people will turn into zombies and attack humans. It only takes 10 seconds for those bitten to complete the transformation and join the zombie camp. The virus spreads at lightning speed and the world is thrown into chaos. Lane is a former UN investigator who was about to take his family on vacation. The city is suddenly in a state of panic. People are running for their lives. Cars are crashing. Lane sensed that something bad had happened. He followed a garbage truck and tried to get his family out of the traffic. But he got into an accident at the intersection. Luckily, his family wasn't hurt. By now, the streets were in a state of chaos. People are screaming and running. People in a frenzy are attacking their fellow man. It only takes 10 seconds for those attacked to become infected and join the attackers. Lane and his family found an RV and made it out of the city. Philadelphia was overrun by zombies in no time. During the evacuation, Lane realizes his daughter's asthma medicine is missing. They had to find a pharmacy or her life would be in danger. At the same time, Lane's boss called him to tell him that the whole world was under attack. He tells Lane to take cover and says he'll send a helicopter to pick him up. To find medicine for his daughter, Lane returns to the city and finds a mall. His wife went to get food, and he went to get medicine for their daughter. But when the family got out, they found that the RV had been taken by someone else. They had to take refuge in an apartment not far away, but by now, there are infected people in the neighborhood. A bunch of zombies are running towards them. Lane took the family into the apartment and sealed the door with a fire hose. But the zombies came in with little effort. Luckily, a kind man accepted them into his home. After a night's rest, Lane and his family continued their journey. They have to get to the rooftop before they can board the helicopter that's coming to pick them up. By now, the hallway is full of zombies. They can't make a sound. Despite the family's caution, they are eventually seen by a zombie and attacked. Lane shoots and kills the zombie, but the sound of the gunshot reveals their position. Countless zombies are speeding towards them. The zombies are walking very fast, and soon they catch up with the family. Lane had to stay behind and let his daughters and wife go to the rooftop first. During the fight with the zombies, the blood of a zombie dripped into Lane's mouth. He knocked out the zombies and ran to the edge of the rooftop. He waited for 10 seconds and realized that he had turned into a monster before relaxing. The family boarded a helicopter to pick them up and head to the UN fleet in the Pacific. In the future, there's a zombie crisis on Earth. Most of the world has been overrun by zombies, and only a few countries have built walls. Even the UN's command center has been moved to a warship in the Pacific. Lane, as a former UN agent, has been given an important mission by the chief in order to solve this crisis and save mankind. They need to find the source of the virus. That's how they'll be able to develop a vaccine. A few days ago, the U.S. Army in Korea sent out an email that mentioned the word zombie, but now they've lost contact. Lane's mission is to go to the U.S. military base in South Korea to investigate the source of the virus. After saying goodbye to his family, Lane leads a team on a plane to South Korea. When they arrive at the U.S. military base, they find it has been overrun by zombies. The zombies are charging towards them. Luckily, the U.S. soldiers station here heard the gunshots and came out in time to save them. After Lane explains why he's here, the captain explains what happened. A week ago, a base medic was sent to investigate the death of a soldier, but the soldier suddenly came back to life and bit the medic. When the medic returned to the base, he started attacking his patients. That's how the virus started here, but they didn't know where the soldier had been, who he'd been in contact with, or why he contracted the virus. Lane thought the trail ended there, but then he heard from a captured smuggler. A few days before the virus spread, Israel built a wall to keep the infected out of the city. Lane thought Israel might hold the key to solving the virus, so he boarded a plane to Israel. As the smuggler said, Israel was not attacked by the zombies because it was prepared. It's one of the few places in the world that's safe. Lane's questioning led to Israel intercepting a report from an Indian general who said they were fighting Rakshasa. Rakshasa means zombie. They deduced that there was a virus outbreak in India, so they prepared for it. Lane deduced that the source of the virus could be in India, but the UN is unable to contact anyone in India. Lane can't go to India to investigate. The Israeli governor showed Lane their salvation gate. They're letting people into the safe zone. After all, one more person saved means one less zombie they have to fight. Those who made it through the gate sang songs of joy and used a megaphone to express their happiness. However, the loud noise has spurred the zombies in the neighborhood together at one point. The zombies swarmed up and built a human ladder to get over the down scenes of meters high wall. By the time people realized that the zombies had entered the safety zone, it was already too late. The zombies are fighting like wolves into a herd of sheep. They are like a fierce wave hissing and pouncing on the crowd. After a hard battle, Lane boarded a plane. 
that was about to take off under the protection of a few soldiers. At this moment, Israel has been overrun by zombies. The world has turned into hell. A stewardess on the plane was suddenly attacked by a zombie. Ten seconds later, the stewardess turned into a zombie and started attacking the passengers. When Lane heard the noise and went to check the situation, he found that the next cabin had been turned into an inferno. He stops the passengers from making any noise and suggests blocking the door with a suitcase. The passengers were quick to take action. But as they were setting it up, one of the suitcases fell to the floor. The sound attracts the attention of the zombies. The zombies swarmed and instantly broke through the hash defense and started attacking the passengers in the cabin. The passengers have nowhere to hide in the small space. Just when everyone was about to turn into zombies, Lane threw a grenade. A huge hole was blown in the cabin. The pressure sucked the zombies out of the plane. But it also destroyed the engine on the side of the plane. The plane had to make an emergency landing and crashed into the ground. The impact caused the whole plane to disintegrate. Luckily, Lane was wearing a seatbelt, so he survived, but he was also stabbed through the stomach with a piece of scrap iron. A female Israeli soldier rescued Lane and took him to the World Health Organization Institute. Lane had discovered that there was a very small group of people who were saved from zombie attacks. He immediately reported the discovery and ordered a plane to the nearest institute. Lane told the survivors at the institute about his discovery. He thinks that the reason the zombies aren't attacking those people is because they're carrying some kind of virus. The fact that they're already dying has been discovered by the zombies. The zombies need healthy hosts in order to spread the pathogen. If they're infected with the disease, they can disguise themselves to fool the zombies. Researchers think it's a viable option, but the problem is that their virus is stored in Zone B. By now, Area B has been overrun by zombies. In order to get the virus, Lane decided to take the people there. The three of them opened the passageway and carefully avoided the search of the zombies without making a sound. However, when they were about to reach their destination, they were spotted by a zombie. This zombie ran towards Lane. The female soldier shot and killed it, but the sound of the gunshot attracted more zombies. In order for the two of them to escape, Lane purposely made a noise to attract the attention of the zombies. The two of them took the opportunity to run back to Zone A. Lane lost the zombies and found the virus warehouse. He took some viruses and prepared to go back to do experiments. When he turned around, he realized that the doorway was already blocked by zombies. Lane had no choice but to test the virus on himself. He injected a virus into his arm. A few minutes later, a miracle happened. When Lane opened the door, the zombies not only didn't attack him, but acted like they couldn't see him at all. Lane turned on the vending machine and made a noise to attract their attention, and he's walking down the road without a care in the world, with the virus in his arms. The zombies run past him, completely ignoring him. This means that mankind has finally found a way to defeat the zombies. The battle has officially begun. The World Health Organization has developed a camouflage vaccine that can fool the zombies. After being injected with this vaccine, mankind has started to launch a counterattack against the zombies, and will win the final victory. Let's watch a movie together to experience a different life. You can subscribe to save review and leave comments.